everybody, this is Dr. Matt Bergman. I wanna share with you three AI tools that you can use to create choice boards for your students. Now, choice boards provide students with options anywhere between two and generally nine different options. The sweet spot for choice research says is between two and four. However, tic-tac-toe style choice boards are also very helpful as well. So I wanna make sure that we include that in this video. So let's go to Magic School. Magic School is a very popular tool right now in the K through 12 world, especially. Uh, they have a student version and they also have a teacher version. And what I love about it is that it's free and it's also paid. And in the free version, you can also access choice boards. So I just simply do a search and I can go right here to choice board. And when I do that, I can put in the information that I need to share about my upcoming project. So in this particular example, I'm gonna use this exemplar. And this exemplar is a seventh grade project on the phases of mitosis and just include a lot of diverse activities, it says. So as you can see here, boom, it actually provides you with information that you can use to create a choice board. Sometimes you just need another idea to help you uh, just come up with creative ways of helping students demonstrate their understanding, especially this time of year in the spring uh, when students are definitely uh, needing some different types of motivation for sure. So another tool that I really like is Gemini. And Gemini is another one of those tools right here that I think is, is a great, great resource. It's operated by Google, so you can sign in with your Google account. And so right here, I put down, create a choice board with three different options for my seventh grade students to demonstrate that they understand the phases of mitosis. And please put this in a table. Now watch what happens. So I'm gonna generate this with AI. And so it's gonna be, it's gonna put this together and check this out. So this has three different activities that you can use and you can export it to Google Sheets. I love this. It's just a quick and easy export to Google Sheets. Now, what if I wanted to create a rubric? So I can say, can you create a rubric? It'll take that information and it'll develop a rubric for me, as you can see right here. So it provides uh, different aspects. And the beauty is, is that you can export this to Google Sheets. So what if you're not a Google school and what if you don't have access to Magic School? Well, another tool that you might wanna use is Microsoft's Copilot. You can do the very similar thing with each tool, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference right here with Copilot. So I'm gonna say, hey, can you put this it together? Um, the three different options for um, mitosis and check this out. It actually is going to give me um, different types of activities. So it might be useful to use different tools to create your choice board because, well, it pulls from different data sources. And so right here you can see this is the activity and the beauty is, is you can actually edit this in Excel. Once again, if you say, can you create a rubric for me? Copilot will do a very similar thing and it'll put together a rubric for you. And as you can see right here, it, it'll break things down and put it in a spreadsheet. So once again, you can make changes and modifications. So just to highlight what we just talked about, Magic School, great tool that you can use free. Although the free version has some limitations, um, there is still a wealth of information in this particular source. If you're a Google user, Gemini might be a great tool to use, has many built-in features that connect to your Google account. And Copilot is a great tool from Microsoft that would definitely connect with your Microsoft Office 365 account.